Step off, off the, to whatever, for Gmail, off the, off the, you know what I mean. <laughs> I can't say the word all of a sudden. Authentication. I hate it. I understand why they do it, but I hate it. something on there in.
if you want to, well, no, it's locked. Um, yeah, I don't know where. Remember, I need to start bringing a cooler, mini cooler, with um, some drinks. To soccer, at least. Yeah. yeah. I just forgot to bring my water bottle. <laughs> We do have a uh, starting line of overlay for our for us oh, too. I guess Will's coming, so I guess I'll do it. He doesn't show up. If I'm doing the broadcast, I'll tell you when. <laughs> but typically during walkout, when they when they start announcing us during walkout. Like after they walk and do the do visitors and they do us, you can put it up. I don't see him. I don't mind doing it, it makes the day go faster. Oh god, it's awful. Hi, how you doing? Just looking for outlets. Do you have Wi-Fi over here? It's not very good. It's not very good? Well, not the, the ones we have, we're running the stream off of one, but it's off a hot spot. Yeah. So I got to keep that band. I got to keep yeah. that dedicated to the stream. You only have that one? Huh? That's the only one you have? I've got another one I can log you on. I just don't know how long it will, how well it will do for you. We can try it at least. Made it back. So it turns out I may be, I may end up on the stream commentary because I don't know where our guy is. battery and then that starts that stops okay. use the zoom to your advantage because we had some shoot last year that didn't zoom very much so it wasn't very good so use the zoom to your, yeah use the zoom to your advantage so like if i just see something like starting i should just yeah yeah you can don't feel like, I mean, you don't have to shoot everything, but if you see something developing, go ahead and start shooting. Also, if you want to shoot some on our defensive side, maybe get some good, maybe we can get some good defensive highlights too, good save, good clearance, something like that. I know it's not your fault. I believe cheer. Help you, yeah, your coach. 
coach would let us know ahead of time what you guys need so we can better accommodate you. I could accommodate you better. Oh, really? Didn't, did you ask him? I had no idea. No, no, I had no idea. Oh, okay. Uh, are you doing your film? Your game film? Yeah, I'll use the game film. I'm going to use my camera up there as well. Uh, but we... We do this. If I had known, I could have accommodated you better than this. Oh no, I'm just, I'm going to be up there anyway. But yeah, but yeah is it this one? The right one? No, uh, we can show it. Max! Sports, sports bridge right there. Oh, Max! Like Max! Sports bridge. Hey! And it should be, go ahead and it should be Eckerd's College, all lowercase. Okay. Big dog! Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Johnson Field. We are going to be a little bit late getting things underway here for this Sunshine State Conference men's soccer match between Eckerd and Tampa. I'll tell you a little bit more about that after this in front of us. It's whiteout night here at Johnson Field. That's our Eckerd softball team leading the festivities as part of the uh, Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Had a lightning delay. With some lightning in the area that uh, struck at about 550. Would put us a little bit behind schedule in getting started tonight. But we'll just be a couple of minutes behind as the teams are getting ready to line up and come onto the field for starting lineups. Tampa comes into the match with a record of 0-2-3 on the season. They're 0-1 in conference play. Eckerd is 3, or rather 2-3-1 on the season and 0-1 in conference play. The Tritons lost on the road on Saturday in the conference opener against Barry 2-0, and Tampa lost at lost to Nova Southeastern. It's conference opener 1-0. Oddly enough, Tampa and Eckerd are the only two teams in conference to play to draws this season, three for Tampa and one for the Tritons. We'll set the stage a little bit more momentarily as the teams come out to midfield for the starting lineups. It is a full slate of conference action tonight. As we're in the first full week of conference play. I say a full slate, it's actually not a full slate. Only two other conference matches going on tonight. It's St. Leo at Palm Beach Atlantic and Rollins at Florida Southern in both men's and women's action. Nova Southeastern played last night in a non-conference match and had no problems defeating Flagler 5-0. Lynn was a 1-0 winner on Monday in a non-conference match against Florida Memorial. Starters being announced on the field, you can follow along with live stats as well by going to tritonstats.com. That's tritonstats.com. Junior Jake Richards in goal for Tampa, a three-year starter in the frame. Other starters for Tampa include Ramsey Torrey, Adrian Constantine, Till Newman, Juancho Fernandez, Tony Soler, Roger Smith, Joey Baja, Marcel Salicat. Ezrick Nichols and Alex Schulz Geistu. I might have uh, butchered a couple of those names. I didn't know I was going to be on commentary until just a few moments ago. Geistobel. His full name wasn't showing up in the live stats. It's Alex Schulz Geistobel. And you're starting a lineup for the Tritons, as you see it on the screen. In goal is David Ormiston. Defense is 
Max Scherzer, Nick Reinauer, Liam Guest, and Zach McLaughlin. In the midfield, one of the captains, Wesley Rush, along with TJ Sohn, Ty Dolan, and Jake Willits. And up top will be Juan David Tejada and Augustin Pertuso. Teams are turning to face the flag. We'll have the national anthem here momentarily. We'll pause for that and come back and continue to set the stage for kickoff here from Johnson Field. Good crowd tonight here at Johnson Field. We'll see if the Tritons can give this crowd something to get excited about as they're set to do battle with the Spartans of the University of Tampa. Tampa again looking for its first win of the season. They've drawn three times, opened the season with a scoreless tie at home against West Florida, then lost 2-1 to Spring Hill. Back-to-back -back draws in Georgia, 4-4 against North Georgia, 1-1 against Clayton State. And then lost in the conference opener on the road last Saturday at Nova Southeastern, one nothing. As for the Tritons, Eckert opened the season at home with a 4-1 win over Ave Maria, then lost a heartbreaker in overtime to Montevallo, 2-1. Went on the road, picked up a 2-2 draw at then number 19, West Alabama. Before that, had a 1-0 win at Shorter, then lost 3-1 to North Alabama before losing 2-0 on the road on Saturday at Barry had a match that was canceled last Wednesday playing at home against Johnson in Wales. Got the first half in, it was scoreless, then a lengthy lightning delay ended that. We're underway as Eckert has opening possession. Long ball sent down the right side, goes out of bounds. And a foul right out of the gate on Eckerd. Tampa scored six goals on the season, and uh, all six have been scored by a different player. Juancho Fernandez has one of those goals, also leads the team in assists with two. For Eckerd, it's Juan David Tejada leading the way on the attack with four goals. Tampa working the ball around to the defensive third. 
Comes to the near side to Nichols. Try to take a little time and figure out who's who for Tampa. Easier as they work the near side. Back to the back to one of the captains, Ramsey Torrey, center back who works it to the opposite side of the field, actually more down the middle. Errant pass taken by Liam Guest. Guest sends it down the left side, giving chases to Hata. He won't be able to get to it. The ball played backwards to Jake Richards, the keeper, and he slots it back to the outside on the far side. Tejada and Zach McLaughlin both wearing different uniform numbers tonight. Tejada wearing 18, McLaughlin wearing three. One touch by McLaughlin behind him, Pertuso. Pertuso with a low shot, just misses. On the left post as Richards was up off his line a little bit. A quick strike there by Pertuso, tried to slip it by him. But missed the post. I believe Richards would have had that covered anyway. Good opportunity there, though, for the Tritons. Ball sent back to Richards off his chest, now settles it. Zeckard putting a lot of pressure forward early on in the match. And the ball goes out of bounds in front of the Tampa bitch. Throw in for Eckert. It'll be Max Shearer taking it. Ball volley to header goes guest. And offsides, I believe, is called uh, on Tampa. Hmm. Oh, handball. Possibly a handball, not quite sure what it was. Either way, Eckerd gets a free kick off of it. And Ormiston sends it into play. Tuso contests for the header, but it's won by Tampa. A handball definitely called that time on Tampa. As Rush will put the ball down and play it quickly on the far side. It's Shearer slipping past his defender, now drops it back off to Rush, taken away by Tampa. Dolan playing more up top today. He's up top along with Tejada and Pertuso. Dolan, a freshman from Palmetto, decorated high school career over at Palmetto High School. Started off the se season playing a right back, but now playing more forward tonight. Aaron pass out of bounds on the far side. Another record throw in. Now Tampa trying to work forward. Ball played out of bounds again. Deflected last off a Tampa player. Eckerd women across the Howard Franklin Bridge over at Tampa. I was told earlier they were in a lightning delay as well. So I'm not sure if they've gotten underway or not yet. Check on that as we can. Ball stolen by Tampa. Now the Spartans on the move. Top of the box. Nice pass towards the left post. Ball, though, over the end line, and it'll be a goal kick for Eckerd. The Spartans managed to slip a ball through there to uh, Salicat, who uh, pushed past Guest and laid it off to the left post. For I believe that was Fernandez making a run, but Fernandez couldn't quite get to it in time. And Tampa misses out on a pretty good opportunity there in the fifth minute. Second ball, now the third ball will be headed back by McLaughlin to Jake Willits. Willits off the chest, sends it long down the field. There's Tejada giving chase, won't quite be able to get to it though before Richards comes out and picks the ball up off the bounce. Now into the middle, diagonal ball played down the left side. Becker settles it. Being marked here by McLaughlin, cross. And Tampa player taken down by Nick Reinauer. No foul is called. Tampa arguing, saying that should have been a foul. With Triton's half possession now on the counterattack. Tejada dribbling down the middle of the field now. Into the middle to Dolan, but Dolan has it taken off his feet by Torrey. A 
And I uh, didn't see what caused it. I saw the result, a yellow card shown to Ty Dolan. As he took down Ezra Nichols. And honestly, screened off from that, didn't get to see it happen. I know it was obviously a slide tackle. Um, is that Dolan or Pertuso? It looked like he showed that to Dolan, but it might have been on Pertuso again. I believe that was on. Uh, I believe that was on Dolan. And another pass played back to Richards. Pertuso putting pressure on. Now a long ball played down to the middle of the field. Headed forward by Reinauer. Can he pick it back up? He cannot. And the ball sent the other way by Tampa. Guest heads it back the other way. A foul this time will be called on Reinauer. As Nick. Not overly happy with that call. Ball sent in, headed out by McLaughlin. Now Dolan tries to get a touch around, but can't do it. As Torre pushing way up, now plays it back to the keeper. Now Tampa on the move down the left side. Cross into the middle and one touch puts it away. For Tampa, we'll see who that number is. 20. That's Marcel Salicot on a nice cross. And Tampa on the board early. The goal just about eight minutes in. Salicott got away, unmarked, coming down the middle on a nice cross, just one touched it just underneath the crossbar as Ormiston was thinking low and he went high. Eckerd looking to equalize. We got a foul called as Tejada was taken down. Official let play go as Eckerd had advantage. They lost advantage, so the Tritons will get a free kick on the far side. This will be rushed to take it. Sends it high into the middle of the box. Dolan up high, tries to get the header. Goes over his head. And the ball cleared away by Tampa. Volley back off the foot of Dolan. Rolls all the way back to Ormiston where he's able to scoop it up. The Tritons will try to attack again. Tampa applying a lot of pressure. See if Eckerd can sleep through it. Get an attack going. Ball headed back into the middle. And Tampa reclaims possession. Here's Becker on the left side. And another goal for Tampa. I believe that was Fernandez finishing that one on a double assist. Yeah. 
from um, uh, Salicott and Becker. Let's take a look and see. It's hard to see numbers. Yeah, it was. So Eckerd in an early 2-0 hole. Two goals in the first 10 minutes for the Spartans. And Tampa with possession once again, already ahead 2-0. Last season, the uh, Tritons' season kind of turned on a dime at Tampa. Eckert had him off to a pretty good start, and early in that match, lost one of the team's top players, Robert Labuse, who's since graduated. A couple of more injuries followed that match, and uh, kind of began a bit of a downward spiral for Eckert as injuries continued to pile up. Ball goes out of bounds, last touch by uh, Tampa, throw in for Eckerd. Eckerd down with a throw in from the far side this time. And Tampa playing with a lot of energy right now off those two early goals. And Patuso draws the foul from behind. Triton's trying to play it quickly, won't be able to, and now we're going to have a card shown on Tampa's Julius Becker. Well, the first yellow card shown to the Spartans in the match. It goes on uh, Julius Becker. Uh, the Tritons won't be able to do anything with that free kick as it sails over everyone's head and across the uh, end line. Hey, you need to focus, man. What size hey. shoes are those? Three and a half, Becker. <laughs> Becker has a mangina. Becker has a mangina. They are underway in Tampa. In women's soccer, no score. Eckerd and Tampa in the 14th minute. Pass play down the right side by Ryan Howard to McLaughlin. McLaughlin pushing it down the right side. Becker giving chase and steps in front of him, takes the ball away. Ball touched out of bounds by Tamp. It'll be a throw in for Eckerd. Willett, Jake Willett's to throw it in. Now he'll drive it back off to McLaughlin who will throw in. Rush fighting for the ball in the middle, won't win it. Coming up and getting possession for Eckerd was Pertuso. Now Shear pushing it down the left side. Rush with the left foot cross off the chest of Tejada. He'll push it back out to get some space. Now drops it off down the sideline for Shear. Has it knocked away. There's Rush, sends it in, but cleared away by Torre. Torre. 
Headed back the other direction as uh, it goes right to Richards. Couple of early goals for the Spartans, one by Salicat, one by Fernandez. Has Tampa ahead 2-0 in the early going. The Spartans looking for their first win of the season. Willits cuts it to his left foot to get past his mark. Now into the middle to Pertuso. Pertuso turns and pushing ahead. Over to Dolan. Dolan one on one with Richards. Now has to touch it to the outside. Dolan with a cross into the middle, batted away, and uh, sent out of bounds. Good opportunity there on the attack for Eckerd. Couldn't get a shot off of it. But good for the Tritons to see they can work through that Tampa defense. Now Guess will play it back to Ormiston. Ormiston will reverse it to the other side. Now back across the field to Guest, to TJ Sohn. And Becker takes it back. Now Fernandez gets the pass back, slips by his defender with a left shot, footed shot. There's Ormiston with a sliding save. Good anticipation by Ormiston. It'll be a throw in coming up here for Tampa, but a substitution first. Becker comes off. And we'll tell you who that is coming on here as soon as we can get that number. 18th minute and women's action in Tampa still scoreless. Sohn comes up and uh, touches it out of bounds again. A left-footed cross into the box, into the six. It's headed out by Reinauer. And now Guest steps, or rather Rush steps in front. Uh, Fernandez takes it away. Tritons with a chance to counter. Ball goes down to Dolan, Dolan a little too far. There's Pertuso, though, to win the second ball. It's Couple of hands in the back, no foul is called, and the ball goes out of bounds. Substitution for Tampa is Travis Foster, freshman from Tampa, Lito High School. Eckerd looking to uh, trim into this early deficit. Reinauer wins that ball out of the air. Over to Guess now, Willich trying to work ahead. Loses possession. This is Constantine with it in the middle. Eckerd wins it back here. Shearer carrying it down the left side. Has it taken off his feet, though. And now Tampa the other way. Ball sent into the middle. Cleared by Guest. Nice tackle by Rush, and he maintains possession. Plays it out to the near side to McLaughlin. Laughlin down the line to Dolan. Last off Dolan's foot. Nice defense by Nichols and Nichols with a throw in. Salakai trying to work it down the middle. Eckert takes it away, though. Sohn working it forward. And plays it back to Rush. Eckert 
Eckerd will work the ball to the other side. Ryan Hauer long down the left side looking for Scherer, but just out of his reach. Triton women still scoreless at Tampa in the 20th minute. No shots yet for Eckerd. Three shots so far for Tampa. And a foul called across the field on Eckerd. Torrey now carrying it forward over to the near side at Nichols. One touch into the middle looking for Fernandez. Carries too far. Yes, settles. Pressure coming on behind Rush. He'll play it back to Guest. Now to Willits. Misses the touch. Able to settle it on the line, though. I do apologize if you can't hear me over the uh, noise behind us. Tampa wins it back, pushing into the attacking third. There's Salakat now back to the right side. As Shearer you know, takes down. Ref, look at Travis. One of the Spartans too far to see that number. And that will result in a set piece for the Spartans in prime location. Too far to pick up the number who's taking this free kick. See if Ecker can clear this one away. Plays it low to Fernandez. Fernandez with a shot to the near post. But it's Ormiston laying out for the save. Two nice saves by Ormiston to help keep the match at 2-0. See if Eckert can get something going on the counter. Shearer avoids a tackle. Now touches it behind him. Foul called first, though. Eckert will play it quickly off the set piece. Willits. Through two defenders over in the right corner to McLaughlin. McLaughlin with a cross. And a missed opportunity for Eckert as Tejada running right down the middle was right in position and one touched it from close range over the crossbar. I'm sorry, that was Pertuso. Oh, a missed chance there for Eckerd. Best look the Tritons have had all night. Travis, put Julius back in, bro. Great cross by McLaughlin. Travis, your hair looks like shit. Richards launches it into play. Second ball won by Tampa. Rojay Smith came into the match for Tampa, replacing Till Newman. will have a throw in from the far side as Shear steps in front of a pass. <laughs> Triton women still scoreless at Tampa in the 25th minute now. Now 
Eckert still looking for its first shot in that one. Triton's trying to work it down to the right side. And a foul caught, and we'll have a yellow card shown to TJ Sohn, it looks like. Second card shown to Ecker tonight. Third of the match. Goals in the eighth and or eighth and ninth minutes, or seventh and ninth minutes, rather, by Tampa. As the Spartans with the early lead, if you're just joining us, Marcel Salicott scored in the seventh minute off an assist from Till Newman. And then in the ninth minute, it was Juancho Fernandez on the goal. On an assist from Salicott and Julius Becker. Triton still with possession. Here's Rush. Working it into the middle. Now plays it back to Tejada. Behind him to Reinauer. Drops it back off to Tejada. Into the middle to Sohn. Sohn plays it back behind him to Willits. Willits pulls it back now to Guest. And the Tritons will work it to the other side. Here's Shearer, back to Guest. Triton's trying to slowly, methodically work the ball forward. Now a little bit of space for Shearer, chips it into the middle, making a run is Pertuso. Richards comes up, it goes off his chest and back into the air, but no one there to finish it off for Eckerd. On what was a hot day, it's turned into a relatively nice evening here in St. Petersburg. Ball sent long the other way by Tampa. There's Willits heading it back as Foster gives chase for Tampa. Now Fernandez pushed off the ball by Sohn. Nice clean move by Sohn. And a good touch ahead to Dolan down the right side. Dolan working against Torre into the middle of Tejada. Tejada with the settle. Turns and has it knocked off his feet behind him. Another attack for the Tritons. But couldn't get a clean look. Now Shearer takes it back. Working forward through the defense. Touch to Pertuso. Pertuso with a shot. It's deflected, though, by a sliding Richards over the end line. It'll be a corner kick for Eckerd. First corner kick for either team. Eckerd patient there on that attack. Slowly worked it forward. Finally got it into the box. And Pertuso off the side of the foot. Tried to touch it quickly. But a nice job by Richards sliding out and getting a deflection on that. So Tejada to take the first quarter kick for either side. Plays it low to Reinhauer, dummies it. Shear with a great strike, but just over the crossbar. Another missed opportunity for Eckerd, but a good strike there by Shear ends the low ball off the corner. From Tejada went to Reinauer. Reinauer dummied it to a wide open shear. Strong strike with the left foot. But just high. Now Elliott Williams into the match for Eckerd. As well as Bailey O'Shea. Going off was TJ Sohn. I didn't see who the other Triton was that went off. Reinauer, it appears. Unless Nick pushed up. No, Ryan Hour still in the middle. Not sure who it was. 
Now Willits through a double team to Rush. Rush settles, plays it ahead to Pertuso. Pertuso pushed down from behind by Torre, no call. Now Foster working through the defense, slots it to Fernandez making a run through the defense, but a little too far as Orbison's able to come scoop it up. And Tampa's on the board as well in the women's match. With a 1-0 lead over the Tritons in women's soccer. 16 minutes left in the first half here from Johnson Field is Tejada working on the far side. Some lightning way off of the distance. Let's hope it stays there. To Rush. Rush with the left foot into the middle. Ball cleared away, though, by Constantine. Travis, that's a job. Travis, what the hell? Travis, where's the defense? Travis, that's a stupid bracelet. Giving chase is Tejada on the header from Shear into the box, but Richards out and able to scoop it up just before Juan can get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Women's action, it was Emily Caddy, Katie, for Tampa getting the goal and putting the Spartans on top there, one nothing. Right now we're able to knock that ball out of bounds on the far side and we'll have another sub and coming into the match for Tampa. <laughs> looks like Fernandez is out maybe. It looks like a nine. Foster gets by McLaughlin, but McLaughlin able to slow him down as Foster loses control of it momentarily. Ball headed out by Guest, and the Tritons will again look to counter. Ball sent back the other way. Guest touches it to the outside to Ryan Hour. Nick able to turn back and maintain possession. Over to Ormiston. And he'll play it back to Ryan Hour. Is Tampa now not applying quite as much pressure, dropping back? Guess with some room to bring it forward. All ahead to Pertuso. Nice flick to Tahada. Tahada tries to leave it for Williams running on to the left post. But Richards comes off his line and takes it out of the air. Tritons have really done a good job controlling the run of play over the last 15 minutes or so. Haven't been able to break through quite yet. And a foul across the field on Eckerd. Triton volleyball will be in action this weekend here at the MacArthur Center, Friday against Lynn, Saturday against Barry. Soccer, of course, will be in action on Saturday as well. Some work on the far side for Tampa. Can't catch those numbers. And we'll have a corner kick upcoming for the Spartans as that ball is deflected off the legs of Guest. As I believe that was Salakat who turned and struck it. Still some lightning off the distance off to the southeast. Hopefully that'll stay far away from us. No delays tonight. First corner of the match for Tampa. Here it comes. And on to the top of the net as it goes over the post. And a goal kick now for the Tritons. Shots are even for each. Two of those shots for Tampa have resulted in goals. Now 
Now ball played down the left side, left-footed cross. Here comes for now, or rather uh, for Tusa running on. Ball into the air, headed by McLaughlin, but right at Richards. And another good opportunity for Eckerd comes up empty. And a nice slide there by Guest, able to clear the ball away. <laughs> now the Trines with a chance to counter. Williams pushing it down the left, or rather the near side. Has to slow it down, back to his left foot, still has advantage. Into the middle. Here's Tejada coming on, leaves it back for Rush. Rush with a shot and another save by Richards. That one deflected out, Eckerd still has it. Out to O'Shea. Drops it for Willits. And we've got a foul on the far side of the field as Shearer gets knocked over. Eckerd playing the ball quickly. Well, now they're not. Now they'll set it down. Looked like they were going to play it quickly, but we're not allowed. Inside, 10 minutes to go in the first half. Now the Tritons will take their time on this set piece from about 40 yards out. Rush will just get it touched right back to him by Tejada. Now Tejada into the box, ball headed away. O'Shea heads it over to Shear. Shear trying to screen off his defender. Gets it out to Tejada. Tejada into the middle of Williams. Williams with some space, his shot is deflected. Goes off the foot of, uh, I believe, Reinauer after the deflection and rolls harmlessly to Richards. The Tritons have just been controlling possession and getting a lot of opportunities here in the second part of the first half. Just haven't been able to break through yet. Out of Foster as he carries it down the left side. First time in a while it feels like for Tampa to have something going. They did have a corner just a few minutes ago. Necker defensively forces the ball backwards. And out of bounds. Off the foot of Shear, throw in for the Spartans. Ball gets away from Tampa on the far side, and now their player comes up limping. It looks like perhaps. No, he's fine. Looked like he was limping. Triton's trying to keep the ball on the attacking half of the field. Good effort by Reinauer, can't keep it in play. the throw in from the far side. Now Tampa switches it. Torrey in the middle to Constantine now back behind him. Triton's now holding eight four edge and shots. And 
Ball cleared away by Reinauer again. The heart is a muscle. And what do muscles do when they're tough? They grow stronger. Shear with it as Eckert will try to counter. Ball played down the left side to Hata giving chase. It'll stay in. Juan gets to it. Cuts it back to his right foot, has a little space, drops it in the middle now to O'Shea. O'Shea's shot is blocked by Constantine. Willits beats Constantine to the ball, cuts it back to the left foot. Beautiful cross to the far post. Tejada running on, just can't quite get to it. Another good opportunity generated by the Tritons. You gotta figure at some point, Eckerd will be able to convert those. As Bertuso will come out. And Robert Carter, the senior, in the San Antonio, Texas area, is into the match. Hey, number 13, you're in for a rough ride, buddy. Foul on Tampa. Eckerd will play it right in front of us at the half line. And we've got a Tampa player down. We'll have a clock stoppage for an injury. I believe that's Adrian Constantine, perhaps. Looks like Constantine. Trying women still down one nothing across the Howard Franklin in the 39th minute. One shot down for Eckerd. That came from Johanna uh, Anderson. Roger, what are you putting in your hair? Left foot, right foot, left foot. Right now five shots for Tampa as Casey Wynn just right comes back, up with the save back, in the 40th step back, minute. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Now do the shuffle. Come on, Roger, dance. Roger. Roger. McLaughlin take it down with a tackle from behind. No foul called on the tackle. Now a set piece coming up for the Spartans. Richards launches it way down the field. Header won by Guest. He sends it back the other direction. Rojay Smith with it, working down the left side. Left-footed cross, headed away by Shearer. Great job by Shearer, staying on his mark. And heading that away on a nice cro uh, cross at the far post by Rojay Smith. Tejada, working through some physical pressure, able to keep possession for the Tritons. Now ball played down the left side, Shear carrying it forward. Into the middle of Carter, Carter with one touch, doesn't get a strong touch on it, he's offsides anyway, so it wouldn't have counted had he got it past Richards. One final in the books already in women's soccer. Florida Tech defeats Lynn one nothing. They got things underway early over there in the uh, on the eastern side of the state. Roger, that's all you. Roger, where were you? Inside three minutes now to go in the first half. See if the Tritons can cut into this 2-0 deficit. Roger, you get low. Just before halftime. Roger, go get the ball! The ball's over there, Roger, come on! 
Ryan Howard now in the middle to Carter. Carter, the touch over to O'Shea. Tritons now on the attack. Headed back to Carter, fl flips it up to Williams, pushing forward. The ball cleared away, though. Now McLaughlin left foot into the box. It carries too far. It'll be a goal kick. Tritons now with a 10-4 edge in shots. That wasn't a shot there, but a 10-4 advantage in shots for the Tritons. But that early quick flurry by the Spartans has been all that they needed so far. Josh McGrath, by the way, came into the match for the Spartans after Constantine went down with that injury. Constantine's injury did not appear, didn't look serious. Expect we'll probably see him back in the second half. Time ticking down the first half. Here's Shear down the left side. He's got some space. Left footed cross into the box, cleared away, and the Tritons will have a corner. Coming up on one minute left in the half. Boys, Tritons would certainly like to get a strike here and uh, cut this deficit down to one goal heading into half number two. Triton men will be in action on the road. I believe it's Florida Tech on Saturday. The women back here at Johnson Field taking on the Panthers. Williams trying to work through the defense. I believe he was called for offsides. Richards taking his time as the clock now down to about 20 seconds. Guest wins the header. Can the Tritons get a quick shot off? Volley back the other direction. And we're inside 10 seconds now. Ball said long down the left side. And the first half will come to a close with the Tritons trailing by a score of two to nothing. We'll be back with the second half in about 15 minutes here from Johnson Field on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. We can tweet at halftime. Uh, women are down 1-0 at half two. With that as well. I would put on the, the, on the tweet for here. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa.
Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. So at halftime, an early flurry of goals by the Spartans has Tampa ahead of the Tritons at the break, 2-0. Even though Eckert holds a 10-4 advantage in shots, it was Tampa on the attack early and scored off a pair of nice crosses. In the seventh minute, Marcel Salicott finished off a cross from Till Newman. And then in the ninth minute, it was Juancho Fernandez finishing off a touch from Salicat after he took a cross from Julius Becker on a very nice sequence for the Spartans. From that point forward, Eckert really controlled the match and had several good opportunities in the last 20 minutes or so of the first half, but just couldn't break through either 
because of some nice work in goal by Jake Richards. Or just some good opportunities that just missed the frame. Triton women are down 1-0 at halftime at Tampa. Six shots so far in that match for the Spartans. Only one for Eckerd. Four saves in the match for Casey Wynn. It was a goal by Emily Cady in the 29th minute for Tampa getting the Spartans on the board there. Take a look at what else is going on in conference tonight. Only two other teams in, uh, or matches going on in both men's and women's action. One's already gone final in women's. It was Florida Tech with a 1-0 win over Lynn in Boca Raton. Rollins has a 1-0 lead. Late in the first half against Florida Southern. Actually, there's another one that wasn't showing up on the uh, schedule earlier. Just started in the second half in Fort Lauderdale between Embry-Riddle and Nova Southeastern. No score in that one. And Palm Beach Atlantic and St. Leo in women's action tied at one, heading into overtime. In men's soccer in the battle of two nationally ranked teams, Florida Southern has a 1-0 lead over Rollins. They're about 20 minutes in there. Early second half, no score between Palm Beach Atlantic and St. Leo in West Palm Beach. And those are the only contests showing up on the Sunshine State Conference scoreboard at the moment. Busy week of action here. On the campus of Eckerd, Friday night, we've got volleyball 7 o'clock with Lynn University coming to town. Then Saturday, it's volleyball at 4 o'clock with Barry in the MacArthur Center, followed by women's soccer here at Johnson Field at 7 o'clock against Florida Tech. Well, of course, we'll have live coverage of all those contests right here on the Triton Sports Network as part of the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. If you want the live video to follow live stats, head over to tritonstats.com. About five minutes to go until we get the second half underway. We'll be back with that here when it happens on the Triton Sports Network. Stay with, stay with us. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa.
Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Just about ready to get half number two underway here from Johnson Field. Eckerd will have to battle out of a 2-0 hole. A couple of try, uh, rather Tampa goals early in the first half in the seventh and ninth minutes gave the Spartans that quick lead. And despite controlling the run of play and taking 10 shots in the first half, many of those coming in the last 20 minutes in good looks, Eckerd was not able to convert. And so we'll see what the Tritons can do here in the final 45 minutes. Eckerd will have the same 11 on the field that ended the half on the field, it looks like, with Ormiston, Shearer, Reinauer, Guest, Williams, Rush, Tejada, Pertuso, O'Shea, and McLaughlin. Actually, uh, Pertuso back on. He was off the field at the end of the first half. Robert Carter was on. And Tampa will open the second half with the ball. They'll quickly work it down into the attacking half. Ball knocked out of bounds, but it'll be a Tampa throw in. Second half underway as well across the Howard Franklin Bridge as the Triton women's soccer team will try to equalize that match down 1-0 at the half. And a goal kick up coming for the Tritons.
Harmison sends it down near midfield. Pertuso trying to win the ball. Eckert working it down the far sideline. Giving chases, Pertuso. Ball played uh, down towards the box. It is settled by Richards. Now Pertuso running up. And Shearer wins the header. Now Tejada back to Rush. Slots it back to Tejada. Tejada over to O'Shea. One touch behind him to Guest. And the Tritons will work it to the other side. Cross into the box carries a little too far as Tejada was running on to the near post. What type of name is Tell, yo? But Richard's able to snag that out of the air. Rush steps in front of the pass, retakes possession for the Tritons. Nice ball over to Pertuso, has to slow it down. Now cuts it back to his other foot behind him to Rush. Rush with a little bit of room. To Tejada, Tejada working to the outside. Ball goes out, but last touched by Tampa and Tony Soler. Ball won by the Spartans. Solar back to the outside to Newman. Newman. Tejada steps in front of the pass and gets it to rush. Now the Tritons will try to counter. Ball carries too far, though. Send back the other direction. Near side to Reinhauer, back to Guest, and the Tritons will reverse the field. Nice ball on the diagonal pass across to Williams. Williams now down the line. Eckert can't keep it in play. Throw in finally comes in from Tampa. And Willits works it behind him to Guest. And Willett able to maintain possession despite losing his footing. Now Rush sends it down to Shear, making a run down the left side. All taken away, though, by the Spartans. And a uh, stoppage as the Tampa player is down. And on the near sideline. I have a clock stoppage. I believe that's Till Newman who's down. Back up on his feet now, I think. Yep, slowly back up on his feet. As he and uh, Shearer had a collision going for that ball, and it appears Newman got the worst of it. Two. 
Matuso takes possession back for Eckerd. Chips it over the defense looking for Tejada. Carries too far, and now Richards will finally pick it up. Quick throw by Richards over to the near side. Long ball sit down the far side by Tampa. Guess there to clear it away. Now Tampa working it in. Shearer gets the deflection and the stop. Newman giving chase, won't be able to keep it in play, and kicks it into one of the guardrails. <laughs> now Shear drops it off to Rush. Rush sends it down to the far side. Now Ryan Hour working it forward. And ball knocked out of bounds by Newman. Sent into the middle by Ryan Hour, taken down as Pertuso, and we will get no call the other way. As we have a clock stoppage now, we'll have a card shown to Pertuso. And he was frustrated as Torrey, um, yeah, Torrey looked like he got behind him and just took two arms and took him down. And I believe Pertuso couldn't believe he was the one called for the foul. Another yellow shown to the Tritons. And Richards will soon send it into play. Shear heads it the other way now, hustling down the line to try to get to it himself. He almost got there before it went out of bounds. Eckerd's pressure causes the uh, ball to be played out of bounds on the far side. Eckerd brings it in quickly on the throw in. Ball cleared, but Willett's there to head it back. Now Newman on the counter. Working it forward. Sends it to the left post, but it hooks. And goes uh, out of play. Goal kick for the Tritons. Now Rush sends it down the right side. Carries too far, though. Pertuso won't be able to get to it. Tritons again working forward, trying to get it back into the attacking third. Rush has it taken off his feet. And now Tampa on the counter. All sent into the middle. Shearer there to head it backwards. O'Shea settles and gets it back to Shearer. Well, 
Well, if you took out the first 10 to 15 minutes of the match, Eckert has really controlled it, but unfortunately, you can't do that. Now, Pertuso chasing the ball down the right side, gets past his defender. Ball dropped off to Rush. Rush with a hard shot, just misses. On the left post, the pass, uh, the shot was deflected. And Eckert will have a corner kick upcoming. Tejada to take the corner to the near post, headed away. Now here come the Spartans. Three on two. Back into the middle, passes just behind Constantine, I believe that was. No, it wasn't Constantine, that might have been um, Smith. Either way, Eckerd's got it on a counter of their own now. Working into the box ball and taken away from Williams. Now it's Constantine. Salakai carrying now drops it out to the left side. Back to Salakai. Chips it in, but carries too far. And we'll go uh, across the end line for a goal kick. punt by Richards. Tampa wins the second ball. Sent into the middle. Headed by uh, Newman, but it's off frame. Now another goal kick for Eckerd. As everybody shifts to the far side, that's where the ball goes, of course. Triton's trying to work it forward again. Triton's had a substitution as Pedro Galvo came into the match. And he immediately puts it in. Is that Galvo or is that Pertuso on the goal? That might have been Pertuso. That was Pertuso with the goal on a nice pass from Rush. And the Tritons finally break through to make it two to one. Actually, the pass was by Galvo. Yeah, it happened on the far side, so I didn't get a real good look at it and was looking down to try to see who Pedro came in for. But he, whoever he came in for, he made an immediate impact, slotted a nice low ball to Pertuso running on to the near post. Pertuso with Richards up off his line, one touch and gone. Just inside the left post, it's 2-1. to one. First goal in conference play this season for Eckerd.
Well, the Tritons have continued to push forward and get good opportunities, and you had to figure eventually one of them was going to go down or go in, and finally did. I have heard it said before that a 2-0 lead is the hardest lead to play with in soccer. For Pertuso, that's his third goal of the season. just one goal away from equalizing on Pertuso's goal, making it 2-1. The goal coming in the 59th minute. coming for Eckerd, and Shear to bring it in from the near side. Ball volley back the other direction. Right hour goes down and we'll have a stoppage as I believe he got headbutted inadvertently by Salakat. Now Salakat with a little smirk on his face. Right hour slow to get up. training staff on the field to check him out. <laughs> Triton women still down 1-0, just missed on a good opportunity. In the 64th minute, a shot by Tegan Payne hit the crossbar. Eckerd with three shots in the second half as uh, Reinauer now back up on his feet. Anytime you see someone go down like that with potential of going head-to-head -head contact, well, you worry about the C word, concussion, that is. Tampa will play it back to Ormiston. And we're back in action. Inside, 30 minutes to go. Triton's looking to equalize here. Trail 2-0 at the half. Trail 2-0 just 10 minutes into the match. They've really been in control ever since. Goes to Shear down the near side. Nice touch to Tejada. Now Tejada passed his defender. Working it down the sideline. He's knocked down and will have a foul called. And another stoppage of the clock. We'll have a card most likely about to be shown here to one of the Spartan players, or at least a talking to, for clearing that ball away as far as he did after the foul was called. Looks like just a, uh, just a talking to, no card shown. But the Tritons will have a set piece. From the left side, down near the left corner. And it's Tejada to take it. To the far post, it goes. Up for the header. Was Reinauer, perhaps. It was Reinauer going up for the header, but just sailed over his head. T.J. Sohn into the match for Eckert, replacing Bailey O'Shea. His guest wins the header. Second ball, though, taken by Tampa as Newman 
Drops it off to Salicat. Back to Newman, taken down. And he'll have a free kick coming up here for the Spartans from about 30. Triton's now at the 13 to four advantage in shots. Clock still ticking. As Eckerd sets up its wall at the 10 yard mark. And it looks to be Tony Soler ready to take this free kick. Left foot over the crossbar and high. Sixty eighth minute in women's action. Eckert still down one nothing. Triton women still looking for their first goal in conference play after losing three zero to Barry. Here on Saturday, Barry now all the way up to number six in the United Soccer Coaches poll. Ball said long down the right side, headed ahead to Tejada. No, one shot on the rebound, high. Tejada had a shot on the rebound. It was, I believe, Pertoso with the first shot. Went off the hands of Richards, right to Tejada, but too much force on it. Sends it high over the crossbar and another missed opportunity for Eckerd. Fifteen shots of the match now for Eckerd. Now Tampa trying to work the ball forward into the attacking third, a place they have not been very often since the first 15 minutes. But so far, that's all they've needed. And it's been equalized in the women's match. On a goal by Stephanie Linton. I assume coming off the corner kick from Lauren Uden. They're tied at one. Now rush behind him on the near side to uh, Ryan Hour.
Another foul on Neckard. And Tampa will have a set piece from about 40 yards out. Maybe 30, 35. On to the center of the box, headed away by, I believe, Willits. Constantine with a cross. Guess there in the right spot to head it away, right to Tejada. Tejada now flicks it ahead to Pertuso. Can Pertuso beat the defense? Heads it down, now carries it into the box. Cuts it back. Lays it into the middle to Williams, Williams or rather to Dolan. Dolan lops it too high as he tries to settle it, bring it down and get a good strike on it, but couldn't quite get it. Another great opportunity for Eckerd. And even down two ones, not much solace to take, but to take a little bit of solace of the fact that Eckerd has been able to push forward and generate chances. Another stoppage of play, clock still running. And now the clock has been stopped. Looks like Wesley Rush is gonna get a card. Oh my God. And a card has been shown to Wesley Rush. Rush is the one that was getting the uh, talking to. Where's the fourth official? And I'm guessing Wesley talked a little too long for his liking because he called him back after I believe I had no intentions to give him a card to begin with. Wesley, four-year starter for Eckerd, was the SSC Freshman of the Year back in 2015. And it's a rare occasion for Wesley to come off the field. Center midfielder who runs a whole lot of miles out there. Ball sent into the middle. Can the Tritons clear it away? Shot off the post. And cleared away by guess as Ormiston stopped on it. Assuming, I guess, that ball was going to go wide and another six inches the other direction, that would have been a goal. Didn't see who got that shot off for Tampa. That's their first shot since probably midway through the first half. And now a corner kick. Upcoming for the Spartans, their second. That was Salicat who took the shot and hit the post. That was dangerously close. Solar will take the corner from the near side. Lops it to the far post, actually more in the middle of the box, headed away by Shear and a shot after the header sails well high. And Tampa has now retaken the lead in women's action, 2-1 to one, on a Natasia Asikdom goal in the 75th minute. So Ecker now trailing in both matches to Tampa, 2-1. to one. Tritons will look to equalize here. J. Smith. Is Tampa working the ball in the defensive half right now.
trying to work forward. They do have time on their side, still 18 minutes to play, but can afford to be patient right now. No foul called on the far side as the Triton player was taken down by the jersey, I assume, perhaps because Eckert had advantage. Either that or they just flat out missed it. Now Ryan Hour, Shearer. Touch goes a little far off his foot, and Tampa will play it back, and Richards clears it away. In comes to uh, looking for Williams, trying to slip past his defender. Ball cleared away again. <laughs> Fisher will make sure slide down the line for the throw in to Tejada. Now Rush. Rush off the side of his foot to Pertuso. Turns, shot just over the crossbar. Not a bad look at all there by Pertuso. He sailed high in the crossbar. 17th shot of the match for Eckerd. But the Tritons still trail at 2-1. to one. And Richards now being encouraged by the center official to put the ball in play. Tritons win it. Ball being played back. Almost picked up by Tampa. Good hustle on the slide tackle there by Ryan Hour to keep the Spartan. I believe that was Foster making a run to get to it. Couple of subs coming in for Eckert. That's Elliot Williams. I thought he was on the field earlier. But apparently he was not. And one more didn't catch who that was. Throw in for Eckert from the far side. Knocked out of bounds. Eckert will throw it in again. Nice ball down to Shearer. Can he settle it and get to it? He's able to get past his defender and get to it. Rush takes it back. Now to TJ Sohn. Sohn to the other side. Galvo, Galvo can't quite get to it. It goes out of bounds. 79th minute across the bridge. Triton still trailing Tampa in women's action. Two to one, just Missed an opportunity off a corner on a Siobhan Longmore shot that went high. Tejada giving chase. Steps in front of Constantine but can't get to the ball. Smith beats him to it, plays it back. Trying to the 17 to 7 edge in shots now. Nice challenge by Willits. And now a foul. It's going to go on Tampa. Player down and the Triton fans behind us. You can probably hear him over the mic. Giving a hard time to the Tampa player that went down after the foul was called.
Back in action, Eckerd. Looking to equalize. Here's Rush working forward. Nice pass down the right side. But Tampa's able to get to it. Trying to clear it away. Ball's deflected, now headed forward by the Spartans. Willits on the far side, gets a touch, now plays it back behind him to Guest. Guest in the middle of Williams. Ball gets away from him on the touch, able to chase it down, though. The Tritons keep it. Now Rush with it in the middle. To Williams looking to make a run as Williams has the ball knocked off his feet and taken down and a nice challenge there by Tampa. And we've got another clock stoppage on an injury. No foul needed to be called there. It was a great challenge by Tampa. It appears that the defender that did the challenging got the wor worst end of that in that collision with Williams. About 10 minutes left in the women's match. Dryden still trailing two to one. And ready to go again as Ryan Howard will throw it in. Guest, long ball down the middle. Ball still in the air, headed back by Tampa. Now Shear tries to flip it over to uh, Williams. Can't slip it through the defense. And now Tampa on the counter. Smith making a run, and the ball gets to him. He's got one-on-one -on -one opportunity here with Ormiston. Just misses at the far post. He had Ormiston out. And the left side of the goal wide open, trying to slip it inside the left post and just missed. Send down to Williams. He heads it behind him. But Richards will be able to get to it and pick it up. Richards, three year starter and goal for the Spartans. He's from Bedworth, England. That's the same hometown as. Four-year starter in goal for Acker that graduated last year. Alex Scott. Nice ball ahead to Shearer. Can Shearer get to it? Not. He won't be able to get to it before Constantine over to clear it. And great ball play there. Down that left side, hats off to Constantine to get there and get rid of it, get it out of play just before Eckerd was able to do something with it. Now the Tritons will swing it to the opposite side. Over to Willits. Trying to work it down the far sideline. Tampa, though, takes it away. Eckerd is able to take it right back as Willits stepped in front of that pass. Now a shot from distance by, I believe, Galvo goes high and wide. Wind starting to pick up here, coming out of the southeast. That's where we saw the lightning earlier. Haven't seen some lightning over there in a while, but when the wind picks up out here in the uh, month of September, that often means rain isn't necessarily right, to, to, isn't necessarily too far behind it. Now inside, 10 minutes to go in regulation. 
take a look at the radar, see if we're in any danger getting wet. Still looking pretty clear right now on the radar. Hope that'll stay that way until we're wrapped up here. Apologize for the camera shaking too if you can't already figure it out. Some stomping in the bleachers where our camera is set up. We don't have a press box or a film platform here. We have to set it in the bleachers and then when the fan gets, fans get rowdy, it does affect the camera a little bit. Here's Smith in the middle to Fernandez. Now back out to Newman. Newman with the left foot. Going to the near post, ball headed out by Guest. So a corner upcoming here for the Spartans. Let's see if Solar will be the one taking. And taking his time, getting over to the corner is Tony Solar. He'll deliver the corner, third of the matchup coming for the Spartans. Eckerd's had three. Triton still with an 18 to eight advantage in shots. But the Spartans lead it on the scoreboard, two to one. Solar plays it to Smith. Smith trying to turn, getting past his defender. Crosses it to the near post, the header. But I believe that was Newman. It's off frame. Tampa still able to maintain possession. Shearer to throw it in. Seven and a half minutes on the clock. And Ty Dolan back into the match for Galvo. This is Williams. Down the far sideline. Dolan fighting for the ball. And it'll be called for the foul. Ball play down the far sideline, I believe for Smith, but he goes too far, out of bounds, throw in for Eckert. Six minutes to go, Triton's on the attack, looking for the equalizer. Reinauer has it sent right back to him. Now goes to the other side of the field, Willits. Long ball sent down into the box. Dolan giving chase, but won't be able to get to it. That one might have carried a little too far thanks to the wind. The wind is picked up, blowing out of that southeast corner. And that's where it pushed the ball. Dolan was, they get a little frustrated that the pass was too far, but I think you can believe at least some of that on the wind. Coming up on the five minute mark now. Both the Eckerd men and women looking for the equalizers late in the match. Triton women still down two to one at Tampa with about two and a half minutes left there. Throw in for Eckerd. 
Shearer runs up with it quickly. And into Rush, tries to touch it quickly behind him to Tejada. Tejada flicks it up to Dolan. Dolan pushed down from behind, and we've got a foul called. And that was inches outside the box. Or was it? Yellow card shown. It was inches outside the box, so it won't be a PK. Eckerd with a set piece just outside the box on the left, looking to equalize. It's Tejada to take it. Clock has stopped at 424. See if the Tritons can equalize. Here we go. Ball is low and cleared away. Giving chase is Willits. He'll outrace Newman. And turns it the other direction. Cross field it goes. Reinauer all the way down on the other side. You know you won't beat him. Ball knocked out of bounds. Throw in for Eckerd. That's why you're on the floor, The Tampa player down. That's going to result in a clock and play stoppage. And the Eckerd crowd behind. Rather unhappy with that play stoppage. Hey, carry him off. He's not that big. He's pretty frail. Just pick him up. Newman will come off. Becky O will come on. And the Tritons will have a throw in from the far side. Here it comes. Strong throw into the box. Richards has it, loses it, but able to fall on top of it. Went right to the hands of Richards and squirted it out. But he was able to fall on top of it before any Triton could get a touch. And it has gone final across the bridge. Triton women fall two to one to Tampa. Same score here. Three and a half minutes to go. Tuso heads it down. And what do we got? We got a handball? Oh, offsides. I wasn't expecting an offsides call because, quite frankly, he wasn't offsides. And now we are having clock stoppages galore. <laughs> Another substitution for Tampa. That's why the clock stoppage. 3.07 to go. Goes out on the far sideline, throw in for Eckerd. Guest out to Ryan Hour. Ryan Hour cross field 
looking for Pertuso. Ball knocked away, but Eckerd still keeps it. Now Pertuso fighting for it on the far side. Knocked down, no foul call. Probably didn't need to be, but Eckerd still has it after the clearance. Now Ryan Hour. So get to Shearer, out to Shearer. Knocked off his feet out of bounds, and they're going to say it was last touched by Shearer's foot. Tampa throw in. Throw-in goes over ahead of the Tampa player. That is well, took me too long to find who it was. Triton's trying to win the ball back. Cleared away again by Tampa. A minute and a half to go, and that's what we'll probably see from Tampa upcoming here in the last minute and a half is just clearing it away as quickly as possible once it gets into the attacking third. No need there is... Salicott takes it near midfield. Rush steps and takes it back. And one minute to go. All knocked out of bounds. Ryan Hour hustling over for the throw in. Down the near sideline, it goes to Dolan. Dolan with a touch down the line. And a foul will be called on Dolan. And with the clock still rolling, that probably takes away Eckerd's last chance because Tampa will take its sweet time in getting this ball out. There it goes. Long down the field to the near side. Right hour with the header. Foul called. Eckerd will have to play it quickly to Williams. Williams with the touch pass is defender. 10 seconds. Williams into the box left side. Williams carrying it to the line, taking it away off his foot, and that'll take care of it. Ball said long and away, and the Spartans will come away with a 2-1 win here at Johnson Field. Tampa gets the win, two to one. As tempers flaring just a little bit after the match. Let's hope cooler heads will prevail. Both Tampa's goals came early in the match one in the seventh minute by Marcel Salacat on an assist from Till Newman. Two minutes later, they scored again. Juancho Fernandez on the assist from Salacat and Becker. That put Tampa up 2-0. Eckert continued to press for the last 25 minutes or so of the first half. Just couldn't get one to get through. Eckert finally broke through with the 58th minute on a goal by Augustin Pertuso. Finishing off a uh, nice pass from Pedro Galvo. However, Eckert was unable to finish off e an equalizer despite having several good opportunities. And Tampa walks away with the win. Two to one. Spartans pick up their first win of the year. They are now one, two, and three on the year. Eckerd falls to two, four, and one. Oh, and two in conference play. Spartans now one and one in Sunshine State Conference action. That'll wrap things up here from Johnson Field on the broadcast. Back here at Johnson Field on Saturday, Eckerd women's soccer taking on Florida Tech. We're back on the air Friday with Triton Volleyball. They're taking on Lynn in the MacArthur Center at 7 o'clock. Thanks for watching tonight. Everyone have a good evening.